In this video, I'm going to show you how Noah up next runs the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to the channel before, what I do on YouTube is I break down Madden 21 tips and tricks. Basically, we try to teach you how to get better both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And I got a lot of questions um, from people. If you want to submit a question, you can always text me. My phone number will pop up on the left-hand side of the screen here in just a second. But I got a ton of questions last night about Noah Up Next defense and how he was able to really um, kind of really defend uh, Ice's bunch offense, which you all know Ice and the TNC crew, very prolific passers. And so I'm really excited to break this down because – what Noah was doing on defense, we've actually talked about here on the channel before, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it, because literally, I think 80 to 90% of the people that are playing in the club championships are utilizing this defense, and if you want to get this defense, the full defense, the link is in the description, it's a defensive ebook that I released almost a month ago today, um, and I actually have a free sample of it, which you can text me for as well, but let's just dive in here. Um, to the defense. So first and foremost, this defense that Noah was using um, can be found in the 4-6 playbook. It can also be found in the New York Giants playbook. There's different trains of thought. I'm going to share with you today why I believe you should run this out of the New York Giants defensive playbook. So I've got the Jets playbook booted up here for uh, offense. That's a really good bunch playbook that a lot of people were using uh, in the tournament. But I want to just break this down really quickly here. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub in Zadarius Smith and Rashawn Gary. Now, if you're in Mutt, you can obviously sub in Lawrence Taylor and Hugh Green or players like that that have really good speed. And then this is the beauty of this defense. Uh, what we're going to be able to do here with the 3-3-5 is we're going to be able to basically put safeties at linebacker. The reason that's significant is because linebackers do not jump routes in the passing game as well as safeties do. It also allows you to get a lot more speed on the field. But the defense that Noah was using was this nickel 3-3-5 wide, which I've said before, and I'm going to continue to say this, um, this is the best defense in the game. It's the best defense that I've seen. It's been the best defense all season, and it's continued to be. Uh, and we talked about this back in August, and we actually – uh, talked a little bit more about it in September, and now uh, for sure in January we released the full ebook on it. So if you want to pick that up, that's in the description. But anyways, for your coaching adjustments, what we're going to do is we're going to have our auto alignment on default, ball and air defense to play receiver, option defense on conservative, tackling can be on any – these two can be whatever you want. Uh, I personally leave them on balance. And then curl flats, I'm going to put these at 20 to 25 yards. And as long as we have that Mike Blitz 3 in our audibles, we're going to be able to do a lot against this defense. So I want to share with you um, kind of a specific play that I found that Noah was using that was super, super effective against Gun Bunch. Now, again, this is the Gun Bunch out of the New York Jets playbook. I'm not quite sure if I remember if Ice was running this one or if he was running something else. I'm pretty sure he was running this one. But uh, anyway, you know, you this can apply, cross-apply to other bunches as well. Bunch is bunch whether you run it from Carolina, New York, Detroit. Um, it's, it's, it's not the same offense, but it's very similar. So, uh, anyway, Jets dig is the play that we're going to focus in on here. And what I like to do is come out and cover four every single play out of the 3-3-5 normal. That's kind of what Noah was doing as he was audibling down so that he gets that really, really good personnel package on the field. Now, as a general rule, most people like to run their bunch to the wide side of the field, so we're just going to set this up. And if, if someone flips the bunch, then you simply just flip your play as well. But anyways, as we're going to jump in here, um, if we audible to Mike Blitz 3, now this was the basically the default look that he was going to give. He was going to press coverage, he was going to spread his line, crash his line out, and then from there he was going to make his adjustments. Now one of the beautiful things that you can do from this, it allows you to send pressure really, really easy. Um, if you spread your line and crash your line out out of Mike Blitz 3, then literally the blitz is completely set up. And as you'll see right here, you're going to scream in off the edge. You're going to be able to get instant pressure at the quarterback. So very nice little defense right there. The other thing that Noah was doing was he was also playing some significant amount of coverage defense, definitely Mabel coverage. Now, we all know that Noah has one of the best users in the entire community. So this is a great little coverage that you can use against Gun Bunch. I think it's super, super effective uh, against the bus. So I'm just going to break it down really quickly for you here. So all we're going to do is we're going to put both of our outside linebackers on hard flats. As you see right here, we've got two hard flats. 
And then we're going to make sure that we put our right of screen outside corner on a deep half. The reason we want to do this is because against Gun Bunch, on that bunch side, there is a lot of ways to beat cover three over the top. But when you put that deep half there, it's going to help significantly. So we've got that deep half over there. Now, the one other thing that I would recommend doing is having some form of a three rec hook on the field with your coverage defense. And the way that you can create that is by hot routing either one of your defensive ends, whether it be the left side guy or the right side guy. I typically will obviously use the right side guy. Um, and we're just going to put him on a bluff blitz and we're going to pass commit. As you see here, it creates that three rec hook that we want. And you'll see this is a really nice little coverage defense. You basically only have to cover this left side window here. Any post routes are yours. But as you can see, this pretty much locks everything down. Now, the beautiful thing about the 335 wide is normally you're going to get really, really good sheds as long as you blitz your user. The trick to getting good sheds this year is to blitz your user. But it allows you to play some really, really nice coverage defense as well. So these were some of the principles that Noah was able to use. Another thing that he can do out of this is actually set up a really nice little cover to uh, man defense, a little press defense. So this is a very good tactic as well, one of my personal favorites. So you just audibly into cover to man, you're going to spread your line, crash it out, just like always, you're going to blitz your user. But then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to take that right of screen outside linebacker, man him up with the tight end. You see you're going to get a nice little jam right there. So you have good man coverage across the board. And then what you can do with your defensive line, what I personally like to do is I typically will drop a, uh, a hard flat or a curl flat zone on to the opposite side of the bunch. This is going to help with crossing routes and things like that. So typically what I'll do is I'll drop Zadarius, like the left of, left of screen guy, into a curl flat. That's going to help with those crossing routes and things of that nature. So if they run a crossing route, you're going to be really effective. But as you can see here, this box is everything. With your user over the middle to be able to stop post routes and things like that, it's going to make it really, really hard for your opponent to be able to move consistently. And you're going to be able to get really, really good sheds from this defense and ultimately be very effective. Now, the beautiful thing about this, again, is that you can mix in cover zero pressure. So I'm going to audible to Mike Blitz 3. All I'm doing is man aligning and pressing, and I'm just going to crash my line out. That's it. And what you'll see here is this is going to create man pressure, going to have everybody covered. You're running man blitz cover zero. Now you are leaving yourself a little bit vulnerable to the deep pass, but this is going to significantly uh, slow down offenses. The ability to be able to do all of this from one formation and there's so much stuff that we haven't shared with you yet that if you text me we'll be able to break down in our sample to our ebook and obviously ultimately the defensive ebook itself which is in the description shows you how to stop bunch trip side in u trips strong close all kinds of defenses uh, or all kinds of offenses that are really really popular so this is the best defense in the game that's what i want to get across to you guys today and so if you want to pick up the defense the link is in the description but here's something else that i want to kind of point out about noah one of the things that makes this defense so good is the personnel that you get on the field but also your ability to just adjust and understand where your user should be at if you understand where you're weak on a play, for example, if I'm putting both of these guys into flat zones and I'm running the defense just like this right here, right? This is very, very simple. But what's what's really important is that I understand that I've got to take this way right here. This in route is mine. If I don't use her that in route, then I'm I'm not going to be, you know, they're going to be able to move the ball down the field. But if I use her the in route, oftentimes they're not going to be able to, um, to be able to make a read. Now, right there they were, but again... What I wanted you to get hear me say is, again, you're not going to be able to stop everything, but with this defense, you're able to stop a lot of stuff. And the beauty of this is that you can go in between these two. So let's say that you're in a position where you want to use a cover four drop show two type of look here. You could do something like this right here and you know not have to worry about it. I could run the Mabel coverage on that side. I can then have you know maybe just simply a hard flat here or just man up the running back and then not have anything and basically if anyone comes to the left side then i got to user them but if not i can really have good deep coverage and now be able to you know kind of force them to have to make you know different plays on the offensive side of the ball so best defense in the game if you want to pick it up the links in the description if you want to get a free sample or if you want to get some of my free full offenses and defenses that are in my text message membership including the gun bunch the gun u trips and obviously the nickel three through five uh, wide, the big nickel over G. There's some really, really good stuff in there. Go ahead and shoot me a text. I'll shoot you the full playlist. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to be breaking down some more tactics and strategies 
um, that we saw in our club championships. This is my favorite time of year, being able to watch this tournament um, and just learn and, and, and study these players. These guys are amazing Madden players. So I hope you took something away from this video. If you have any questions, you can always text me.